So topic 18 is all about direct variations. So two things can relate to each other in any ordinary way, but direct variation is something special. So here's the idea. Um, if y varies directly with x, that's the phrase there, y varies directly with x, or any, any other, you know, changes. y is directly proportional with x, y varies directly, uh, y uh, has a direct variation with x, any of those uh, uh, formats, uh, the key word there is direct. Y, if y varies directly with x, we can write down the following equation, y equals kx. Now k, where k, is simply a constant of proportionality. I'm running out of room there. Proportionality. Every direct variation or any uh, proportion equation will always have some sort of constant proportionality. It's just a special number that relates to the story. And almost always, if they don't give it to you, uh, you would have to find it. But that's basically it. That's the only idea. If you know your situation is a directly proportional or a direct variation problem, you can always set up this equation. Of course, you, you might not be using x's and y's. You'll be using whatever variables or whatever quantities they give you. Let's take a look at this example uh, here. The time t it takes a diver to ascend safely to the surface varies directly with the depth. I'm going to stop there. They, I, they just said the trigger words there. So I'm going to highlight the variables and the trigger words. So they gave me the variable t, and the trigger words was varies directly, and they gave me another variable d. So you to set up the equation, you just go in order. They first gave us t. They said varies directly. The moment they say varies directly or is directly proportional, you can always do equals k. And then you go ahead and put the other letter with the depth d. Boom, there's your equation. Now with these types of problems, they'll usually give you information, numbers to plug in to solve for k. So let's keep reading in the story. Continue reading, it says, it takes a minimum of 0.75 minutes, so that's important, for a safe ascent from a depth of 45 feet. That's important. So what you want to do is figure out what letters do those uh, numbers relate to. And I hope it doesn't take a lot of thinking to know that minutes is a time and 45 feet is a distance. So we can go ahead and just plug those numbers in, right? So take the equation that we wrote down, t is 0.75 equals k, and d was 45. Now it gives you an equation to, to solve for k. Let me go ahead and grab a calculator. So in this case here, to solve for k, we're going to divide out the 45. So that gives us 0.75 divided by 45. K, and I converted to a fraction, K is about 1 over 160. Or it's not about, it is. The moment you solve for K, you can write what I call as a complete equation. You're going to take this constant proportionality and plug it back into your stencil, your, your formats, your, uh, your um, blueprint equation. So what is my complete equation? It's going to be T equals, instead of K, I'm going to write 1 over 160, d. When you have a complete equation, uh, you can go ahead and then answer any question that they ask you. So let's keep reading here, shall we? It says, write an equation, <laughs> write an equation that relates d and t. Well, we got that. So yay, we're done for that part. Then predict the minimum time for a safe ascent at a depth of 100 feet. So they gave you more information, 100 feet. Well, we only have two variables, d and t, time and distance, or depth. Well, 100 feet, that's clearly a depth. So take your complete equation and plug it in. t equals 1 over 60 times 100. And then, of course, you can just you know, do some math or use a calculator. 
D is about T is about five thirds minutes, which is roughly one point six six seven minutes. So that's how you handle proportional equations. If you know it's a directly proportional problem, you can always set up this type of equation. One variable equals k the other variable. And it usually will be in the order in which they present the variables. So in this case here, they presented t first, then the letter d second. So that's why we set up this equation. Let's just do one more, just so you have more than one example. Uh, let's take a look at this story here. If the total cost of filling up your car with gas varies directly, well, there's that trigger word then, very directly. Now in this case here, they don't give me variables. So I actually have to read and see what the story is about. So let's go ahead and reread this question. The total cost of filling up your car. Hmm, total cost, that's something. So I know that's probably gonna be something important. The total cost of filling up your car with gas varies directly with the number of gallons of gasoline. So those are the two objects. Those are the two things that the story's about. So let's give them variables. They can be any variables you want. Total cost, I'll call C. Number of gallons, I'll call G. You can use X and Y's, whatever you want. So since they used that trigger word I, and, and I've used my variables, I can set up my equation in the order that they gave it to me. C came first. They used the word varies directly, so equals K. And then the number of gallons came second. Then they'll usually give you information to solve for k. So let's keep reading. If a gallon of cast, I can't spell, that should be gas. If a gallon of gas costs $2.25, let's stop there because that's numerical information. A gallon, obviously that's G, costs two twenty-five. dollars obviously that's C. So let's plug in those numbers. Two twenty-five equals k. And a gallon is a single gallon, so that's one. Hey, this is easy. There's nothing to solve for. We already have k. They give it to us. So then we can write down our complete equation. Cost equals 225 times g. Then we can go ahead and keep at us, um, reading the question. If we keep reading the question, it says, how many gallons could you purchase with $18? Well, that's numerical. $18, we only have two variables. Is 18 a cost or is 18 a gallons? Well, I hope it's very obvious that $18 is a cost, so we'll put that in the C location. There you go. Once you have that, it's just basic solving. So to solve for get number of gallons, you just divide both sides by, in this case, 225. So 18 divided by 225 gives us eight gallons. So when it comes to these direct variation problems, you're looking for that key phrase, varies directly, is directly proportional along those lines. And if you do read that phrase, um, just set up the equation. One variable equals k, the other variable.